this is the one thing that we are pretty much not waiting for, which is probably the one thing we can end the, the whole podcast with, which is a bunch of thoughts there, which is um, interactivity between um, player hunts. Because like, imagine this, imagine you have this big ass map and it's so dynamic in whatever it does and things are happening at all times. But now you have, let's say, uh, 32 players in one session. So first of all, how many players can be in one session? And if I go with you on a hunt with like we two, we together go onto, onto a hunt and we go and fight a Rathian, for example. And now like there's two other guys who are fighting uh, like a Rathalos or something. Can we actually overlap in the game and see us doing like, can we actually then start to interact with another? And can we now as a group of four fight those two monsters at the same time? Or like imagine this with with four times like uh, like you have two parties that are made of four players. Do you now have eight players that are just going around and now fighting these two monsters at the same time? Because I don't I don't see Monster Hunter being a game where you have eight players on the screen at, at the same time. This is like yeah, massively no. this is terrible for the game balancing. It's, yeah, that's I don't why they that hit happen. hit them in the cold fight. <laughs> yeah. That's not why, it's probably technical reasons, but yeah, I don't see that happening. So my a friend of mine had this dream of playing a Monster Hunter game and you just kind of go into like a massive open-ended map and you just find another person randomly playing at the same time, just kind of hunting something and you decide to join them, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't really think cool. that is happening. I think you're still going to have your lobbies, essentially. You probably have to add your friends into a list and then you can do that kind of thing. Or like say like, hey, this is, my, my session right now is open. You can join in if you would like to or something. Yeah, so what I expect is that you have normal sessions as you, as you just have. And then in part of that session, if you join a session, you'd like spawn in the fucking village. And, that from, and then from that point on, you can just kind of play the video game. It's not no longer like, oh, I'm, I'm in somebody's session. I'm just playing the video game. And we happen yeah. to be on the same... It's more like a server than a session. It is a session, but it, it yeah. feels more like a server, um, is what I imagine. So you could go out and just kind of go out into the wild and, and hunt something, and so another player of the same session could join. And I could imagine that several people could be in the same session. Uh, well, obviously. <laughs> but I mean several as in more than four. Because we had, had that in world, but you just couldn't have more than four people in one quest, right? Mm. So how do you do that? Well, you have the ability to, you, you could make it. So like, I don't know, like 16 people could be just walking around the map. But how would you stop people from just, I almost said a really bad word here, um, ganging <laughs> up on a uh -huh. monster and just kind of destroying it, right? So if, if 16 people, even in low rank gear, Try attacking a Rathian at the same time. That Rathian is not doing anything. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. She's just going like, to die immediately. Just consider how many tools we have to just turn any monster into a oh, yeah. dummy. That is, that's insane. They, they, that's, I hope that they really balance yeah. that. But I, what I can say that is not going to happen. There, there is a game called Fancy Store Online 2. Have you heard of that? I heard the name. Okay, so Fancy Store Online 2 uh, has like a new version of it, which is called New Genesis. Uh, PSO2 New Genesis has something really interesting going, going on when it comes to like this open world kind of thing. So what they do is there's one big city at the center, or not really city, but there's one big area where people just always can appear and they just, there's just a lot of people there. But once you go out of that zone seamlessly, by the way, you can go to just positions on the map, you can have encounters, and the server automatically uh, makes groups for the players. So you seamlessly end up in a group with a bunch of players. And any yeah. other players that cut, that would exceed that limit, they don't even appear because they don't matter right now. So that's that's right. really cool because you just you can have like these big fights uh, that are so huge, and the server is just like, oh yeah, so well this is this this thing is designed for eight players, so you just go there and there's only going to be eight players that you can see that you can play with, but there's maybe another guy that's like in a different realm of existence, let's say that. They are also eight people, but they're completely different players, and they're all doing the same yeah. fight. So that's that's something that I can see that they might do. That, that, with, that is uh, what I'm expecting. Miles. That is Loki. What I'm expecting, I, and I I'm do. expecting it to to be like you you like you, you watch a hunter leave the area and they just disappear and do nothing. This because they, they <laughs> enter the other plane, and, and yeah. then you're like, okay, that's a little immersion breaking, but you know what? It's fine. At least it's fucking seamless. Yeah, um, that's they, what they I probably will have happen. animation that's like, oh yeah, they 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 they're slow. They're going they're going home. Okay, they're taking a nap. <laughs> they're like gone forever. 
I can see. And if that is the case, then well, one question would be: How do you, if you have several people in your, let's say you have sixteen people in your lobby, right, and you want to play with these three exact friends, how do you make it that you play with them? Because do you join quests? Is that a thing still? I don't know. Oh, that, you that can they still already join have, quests or not? That's what they already have actually uh, set in the thing that I recently just looked into, just actually mm -hmm. today, which is that. So there isn't really a quest board anymore, but what you now have, it's just that, hey, I, I, I don't know if this is confirmed yet, but pretty much imagine this, you, you go, you just, there's, there's a village, whatever, you go there, there's an NPC saying, okay, so, well, we need, to, we need this thing to be taken care of. And then you just open the, the world map, which apparently is gigantic, and then you just click on that monster, and pretty much this is how you start a quest. So you don't have okay. to go through that uh, through that process of like, okay, let's go to the quest maiden and speak with her. That makes uh, sense. Right? You stare at the boobs for a long time and then you decide <laughs> on the quest. And then you go on and actually like, queue the thingy and eat and whatever and you go on. You, instead, you just open it and you, you put your marker there and I don't even know if you're going to get teleported there. But essentially, you can just literally walk there and start doing right. that, whatever it is. But if that is the case and you want to play with your friends, how do you, if we have these multiple realm kind of idea, how do you make it that you actually end up in a group fighting that thing? Well, that's a that's a big question. Like, they have not answered that. They're very silent mm -hmm. about it. They 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 actually yeah. avoid the question. I need to know. <laughs> well, if they're yeah. avoiding the question, that's probably something interesting. I would. Assume. It is probably yeah. I I do think there's probably some sort of like uh, grouping that you can do. Like you know how yeah, we absolutely. had in Sunbreak the the hunter. Uh, thingies hunter connect thingies i don't know what they're called but no i don't yeah, know I that i only played solo you, you don't okay well basically you you make groups online with a bunch of people that are just tied to that and you can join people just through that mm -hmm. you can be part of multiple of these groups so i i okay. think i think that part we're talking about like playing together i think they've already figured it out but they don't want to tell us because it's so good <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's the, absolutely the, the case, and I think that it is. It one hundred percent will give you the ability to like decide who to play with. Absolutely, anything else would be stupid. 